Showering is incredibly gay for men. Let me explain this logic to you. Have you ever smelt a man that smells good? It's incredibly gay, right? Yeah. You know, you go to the sh shampoo aisle and you're like, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> What shampoo do I buy? And then the women start looking at you and they make fun of you. Look at this man buying shampoo. He's probably going to shower. He must be gay. And this is why I do not shower as a man. Men should smell like sewers, car oil, gasoline, and methamphetamine. You see, if you're trying to be a big top boss alpha male like myself here, creating content for hours on a day, edging for six hours a day, you do not have time to shower. Showering is for beta men who have ugly wives, who have only one fucking wife. Can you fucking believe? Uh, 70... 17 wives. Yes. Mm. That's a lot of wives. Yeah. I have one wife, which is enough. <laughs> that you have one wife? <laughs> My one wife. Let me go down to wife. <laughs> Come the fuck on. What are you doing? So you see, you go to your one wife at your house. Ooh, let me turn on the shower. Oh, maybe she'll shower with me one day. Ooh, oh, let me get some hot water. Ooh, let me rub my scented shampoo on myself. See, that's gay. As a bald man myself, as you can see, this is CGI hair. This is CGI. I do not shower. I have developed Aikido levels above multiple universes. I'm living in a third dimension, or fourth, fourth fucking whatever dimension. That's out of our dimension. You see, you don't even know what dimension it is. I don't even know what dimension it is. Where my body cleans itself. You know how these Korean Asians are fucking self-cleaning like they don't smell like shit? Those guys are robots, but I'm not a robot. I'm a human with a living heart speaking to you right now. Those people are AI. They clean themselves because they are machines. But me, no, I'm living in a third dimension with Patrick Bateman. As a Sigma, we do not shower in this dimension. Men, obviously, should not smell like anything besides car oil, shit, gasoline, and methamphetamine, like I mentioned earlier. We have an exception here, fentanyl, if you do that. But look, this is me on fentanyl, not showering. Obviously, I get a ton of ladies. That was me doing kilo of fentanyl a day in sick row. So, as a man, why would you want to risk your own dignity to smell good? Fucking attract other men? Because only men are s attracted to sweet smells. Only men like sweet smelling colognes. Have you noticed that all colognes, when you go in the men's section, they smell like weed, trash, and shit? They smell weird, but then us men go to the sweet section and start smelling, ooh, this one smells nice. No, it's all a lie. It's the matrix. Showering is for people inside of the matrix. I work 35 hours per day while you shower for 10 minutes a day, wasting time, and you're not working the 35 hours that I'm working. After not showering for the entirety of my life, more than half and a half of a decade that I have been living, I've not showered once, which has taught me the skill of time reversing. It's mastered me my Aikido. When I go in the shower and I see the shampoo, I look through the shampoo and I look at the ingredients. It's all alcohol, testosterone lowering materials. I only rub pure eggs and eggshells in my hair. That's how I do it. That's what I do. That's how I survive on one minute sleep. My hair is eating the liver king diet. That's how it's so luscious. And I mean, I I'm a bald, but the CGI hair is eating the eggs. You know, in SpongeBob, when Sandy created a machine that she would just eat the, e eat the food by looking at it. I'll pop a video up here. Monkey. What? That's basically me with showering. I look at the shower and I shower. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? If you're a man who goes and showers 
especially without your 37 wives, which is rookie numbers. If you want to be a Sigma Alpha, you do not have one wife. Ooh, one wife. Ooh, let me go back to my wife today. Ooh, maybe, maybe she cooked me dinner today. Ooh. Be real. Come on. It's all because you're showering. When you rub those soapy, soapy chemicals on your balls, it's just destroying your testosterone. It's why you do not get soapy titty pics from your 37 wives like I do. But what the hell? You don't even have 37. You probably have one. You probably have zero. You probably don't even speak to them. But anyways, guys. Do not shower as a man. It's incredibly gay. It lowers your testosterone. Men should smell like shit and sewer and fucking sewer syrup. Men should not take care of themselves. We should shower. We should not shower. I'm currently grow working on growing a fat beard and never shaving it because I'm barbarian. I'm liver king. Liver king doesn't shower. These videos are incredibly fucking difficult mentally to make. I do make self-improvement content and that's what I'm all about. This is a series we have that's called self-improvement satire. I completely got this video out of my ass and it's not meant to be fucking taken seriously. Please shower as a man. I'm just giving this as a fucking disclaimer. Please shower if you are a dude. Okay? Anyways, guys. it's. I hope you had some fucking laughs. I hope you, you had some fucking fun here. Obviously, shower and, you know, smell relatively good. But I wasn't, like, this, this video is, like, 25% correct, right? If you're, like, fucking showering twice a day, what the fuck are you doing with your life, bro? I, I have nothing against it. Maybe if you're going out on a date with a chick or something, okay, go go right the fuck ahead. Go shower twice a day. But come the fuck on, man. Be real. I personally, like, just for testosterone bait, like, sakes, I shower every, like, one day or two days. Like, I, I don't shower twice a day, first off. That's completely retarded. Like... You're, you're scrubbing your balls, filling them with a bunch of chemicals, and it's just not good for you, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. This is all satire, and it's not meant to be taken seriously. It's all bullshit. Fucking subscribe down below. This is a series. Go check out my last video, which is going to be, like, right the fuck up here, which is called Ice Cream is Gay, and we'll be working on more. This is the playlist for the self-improvement satire, and subscribe right here. See you later.